Welcome back, everyone. Here to show us how we can transform ordinary bathroom bulbs into beautiful custom light fixtures is Ken. You've Hello. done it this time. This is spectacular. Why, thank you, thank you. I, I mean I, it. I only take partial credit. Okay. I, I have to give inspiration where inspiration is due. That's right. Um, I was thinking of Flip That Romance. Okay. Hallmark movie, uh, Julie Gonzalo, Tyler Hines. Yeah. Um, Love the movie, and it's two house flippers that get into a, a little competition. I won't call it a romance, at least at first. <laughs> um, and they try to like outdo each other as they flip these houses. And of course, like renovating houses to me is like super fun, but you have to be careful because it's about not spending too much money and doing the things that have the most impact. So right. of course, I went to light fixture. Especially one that could be over a long table, potentially in a dining room or something like that. Like exactly. You, right you walk in, you get yeah. wow. But these light fixtures I'm looking at, I looked online, the yeah. cheapest one you can find is 200 bucks. Most of them go between 500 and 600 oh, bucks. absolutely. This one I'm making for around 50 bucks. Oh my gosh. Because that's the way I am. You that's just, how you flip yeah, that romance. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> how, have you ever had a Hallmark movie that, that speaks to this family as perfectly as this as, one? Maybe, exactly. Maybe there's others as well. <laughs> All right, I'm looking forward to the movie, of course, this weekend. I'm also looking forward to this. Let's get going. What All right, so the key here is this old, not old-fashioned, but relatively dated bathroom fixture. You okay. can still get them anywhere. They're about 25 bucks a piece. They're a bathroom fixture. Usually you'll see two of them on either side of a mirror or up above. Um, 25 to 26 bucks. So you yep. can start with that. Okay. First thing you're going to do is dismantle it. So if you want to help me out here, sure. the way this is made is that these little things just pop off, just okay, like that. that. Okay. And this is what is holding on this front plate. So you want to do some just like that. Okay. Take those off, and then this entire thing is going to lift off just like that. So now you've got the sort of base plate here with all the, the electrics and this top plate. Okay, good. Now you want to grab mason jars. You want to get six mason jars. You want right. to grab the rings yep. for me. There you go. And what we're going to do is you're just going to place them directly over the holes. Now, How about that? played around with a couple of different ways of actually attaching these. Yes. And I found that the easiest, best way is to use um, good old E6000 here. Okay. All you're going to do is a little bit around the rim, pop it in place, make sure you get it nice and even. And you do all this before you obviously change the finish, which I know before you do next. Before okay. you do anything. And okay. you want to like, make sure you let those sit because it's important that you okay. get a good grip on those. You want to set okay, that we'll down set there for me, thank here. you. Once they're nice and dry according to the directions, you want to paint it. Now I used um, a little bit of um, a hammered metal finish. I love that look. Because you don't want it to look like Spray painted silver. Right, you exactly. want it to have some texture. So these textured spray paints do well. Pick a finish that goes with you. You could do brass, you could do gold, whatever goes with your eye. I chose Excellent. this sort of hammer okay. bronze. So we've got this part taken care of. Now exactly. we've got to get sort of the wood base of it yeah. all. What type of wood would you recommend? If you're lucky, you've got a gorgeous piece of reclaimed wood that's sitting in the garage begging for use. Yeah. I did not. <laughs> yeah, nor do I. <laughs> but I did have this like standard piece of like one by eight pine shelving okay. from another project. So what I did was I distressed this. I turned this piece into this. And what I did was I used a hatchet and a hammer around the edge. I dinged it. The key is you want to use a couple of different techniques so it's not too repetitive it's not the same one. and don't be afraid to go super deep and take big chunks out because that's really going to sort of give it sells it, it as an antique piece and exactly. then I love the stain too the dark stain yeah then it's this is just a dark ebony stain on top um, now we're going to sort of put it all together so, okay so what's first with as far as the assembling of it all you've got your plate and what it's going to have it's going to have like wires here so you want right. to drill a hole in okay. approximately the same space if you want to help me out here yeah. We're just going to feed that straight through. Okay. And then I'm going to ask you, sir, if you okay. could grab those screws. Sure. What you'll notice on the back plate is there's going to be a couple of screw holes, which is where you would attach it to your wall. Got it. It comes with screws. So you just use those same screws. And is go this, ahead. Is this uh, deep enough it won't go through into the table? We'll find out. Oh, boy. My nicely okay. new done table, Cameron, really? Oh, man. <laughs> didn't, I, really? didn't I do something really? on your last table, too? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I totally trust you. Okay. Right, well. Now. Oh, come on now. Oh, I would have felt <laughs> horrible. Joking. I would have felt horrible. Um, so now that's done, what you're going to do is replace the top. Okay. 
and I'll give you a hand. Give me a hand here. What I've got is you also want to spray paint those caps that you had before. Yeah. And this is what holds it all together, as if you remember. So these caps are not only decorative, they're actually what's keeping this front plate onto that electrical back exactly. plate, correct? And that's what makes it super, super easy. Okay. So fantastic. basically you're done with that. And now now we gotta figure out the hanging aspect of all right. of this, right? So I went a couple different ways and I decided to really make it feel good. You needed some wrought iron. Okay. So if you want to pass me a couple sure. of those. Sure. These are wrought iron plant hooks. You get them in any hardware store. I got them in a big box store. They're meant to put on your porch, hang your potted plant. Got it. All you're gonna do is so, attach it to the front here and put screw hooks in. You can see, do one at each corner, as you can see the one that's hung, and that is what you're actually going to hang it from. Beautiful, so you do four of those. Four and of hang those. It. And what about the height? It. So what you want to do, then you're gonna add your mason okay. bars. Okay. For the height, what you want to do for um, chandeliers like this is you want to go like 30 to 34 inches from your tabletop if you have an eight foot ceiling. Above an eight foot ceiling, you want to add three inches for every um, foot above eight feet. So you're really sort of taking advantage of that height. Look how great that looks. We're gonna keep on working on this and I want you, everybody at home, to have a little sneak peek, a great look at this weekend's movie. Check it out. But you can't always act on impulse, it's irresponsible. There's a difference between impulse and instinct. Veering from the plan is always a recipe for disaster. Well, I guess that's where you and I disagree. Oh, that's where? As opposed to everywhere else? Okay, you got me on that. I guess that's why we didn't make the best team. You look good, Jules. Hey, Jules. Your lot's coming up next. <clears throat> My lot's coming up next. So I hear. Good luck. Thank you. You're welcome. Such a cute movie! It looks good, it looks good, <laughs> as does this, but you know, it's not quite ready. All right, ready? Clap on! <laughs> Yay! My Dylan's my clapper you back there. The delay clapper? That was awesome. It there works. You go. fantastic. You can, can flip this romance you've now. Done it again. You certainly can. You can do it any day. They should have you in this movie. Uh, flip That Romance premieres this Saturday, March 16th at 8, 7 central on Hallmark Channel.